From the Athens Tech Studios, this is the Athens News Podcast. Local news you can use about Athens and Clark County, all in seven minutes. And now, here are your top stories. Hello and welcome to the Athens News Podcast. I'm Melissa Carter. We'll tell you the story of one Athens woman's new career inspired by a recent tragedy. Plus, a new compost program is being tested in Athens. But first, here are your top stories brought to you by Drake Realty. A stabbing incident has left one victim critically injured in athens Clark County. According to authorities, the attack occurred last week on Cardinal Creek Lane around 2.59 in the morning. Police responded to find a victim with multiple stab wounds, administered life-saving measures until medical help arrived. Further investigation revealed the victim's son as the suspect, who fled the scene but was later apprehended in Jackson County. The 20-year-old now faces charges including family violence, aggravated assault, and theft by taking. This from The Red and Black. Former University of Georgia football player Akil Crumpton, known as Crump, has been sentenced to 30 years in prison for his involvement in an armed robbery, resulting in the death of a racetrack gas station employee in Oconee County in 2021. 26-year-old Crumpton received the maximum sentence for attempted robbery and false statement during the purchase of a firearm, totaling 360 months. He also faces state charges for murder in Georgia. Further investigations linked Crumpton to another fatal shooting in Philadelphia. Testimonies and evidence from teammates and co-defendants contributed to Crumpton's conviction. Multiple law enforcement agencies collaborated on this investigation, ultimately leading to Crumpton's apprehension and conviction. This from Fox 5. An autopsy will take place at the GBA's crime lab to determine the cause of death for a woman found unresponsive in her cell at the athens Clark County Jail last weekend. 44-year-old Kwamisha Shack had a history of heart problems, and it appears her death may be attributed to a coronary condition. However, the autopsy will make the final decision. After life-saving attempts at the jail, she was transported to Piedmont Athens Regional Medical Center, where she was pronounced dead. According to the jail log, Shaq, who resided on Royal Court, was arrested on a warrant that charged her with failing to appear in court. This from the Athens Banner Herald. It pays to know your doctor. It pays to know your lawyer. And now more than ever, it pays to know your local real estate professional. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Drake with Drake Realty, and we have seven offices in the metro Atlanta area, including two right here in Cobb County and one at Lake Oconee. I'm the proud leader of over 700 agents here in Georgia, and we pride ourselves in professional service, whether you are the buyer or the seller. Drake Realty makes the home buying process seamless from contract to close. Our agents are a little different. They're not pushing for the quick sale and close. They are pushing for the best price and terms for their client. In other words, Drake Realty fights for you. Now's the time to buy that dream home, vacation home, or new home your family deserves. A lot of real estate agents talk big. Let my team at Drake Realty prove they will fight for you. I'm Jeffrey Drake, and I'd be honored to have my team serve you. Visit us online at drakerealty.com. And remember, it's not how quick you sell or buy, it's what the deal provides for your future. Achieve more with Athens Tech. At Athens Technical College, their programs can connect you with in-demand and high-paying careers. I graduated from Athens Tech in May and started my job two weeks later. I had a job before I left, thanks to my professor, and just focusing on growing a career. As far as Athens Tech, I think I've been a member of the advisory panel for 10 years now, and uh, it's been been an awesome experience. I'm currently going to Athens Tech. I started out as an accounting major. I've finished all my accounting classes and then switched over to the culinary and baking program. My name is Alex Lang. I'm an electromechanical engineering student. This is my second year at Athens Tech and I graduate in December. The long-term goal is to work for the railroad. Uh, whether that be Norfolk Southern or CSX. Achieve more with Athens Tech. Find out more at athenstech.edu. From the New York Post, following the tragic murder of nursing student Lake and Riley, Athens pizzeria owner Sydney Ann Waters is stepping up to run for a position on the athens Clark County Commission. Inspired by Riley's death and the arrest of an illegal immigrant in connection with the crime, Waters aims to address concerns about sanctuary city policies in the area. Expressing frustration over the lack of transparency in local government decisions, Waters vows to provide a voice for the community if elected. You said, I am going to pray mightily for her whim. It is about time we get some sanity back in this country. Orgem said her point is absolutely valid. 
None of us common citizens are aware of all the regulations and rules. This holds true not only for the USA, but all Western republics, democracies. And Great said, go for it. Like Rocky says, age is clearly irrelevant to genuine caring folks. Doubt you'll win, however, but you never know, Mama, unless you try. R.I.P. to all innocent victims of murder. Residents in the Normaltown and Boulevard districts of athens Clark County are joining forces with the Solid Waste Department and the University of Georgia's New Materials Institute for a groundbreaking initiative, the Residential Compost Pilot Program. Sponsored by the Walmart Foundation, this program aims to divert waste to compost, preventing microplastics from entering the environment. With 400 residents registered, the program runs until May 10th. Director Suki Jansen emphasizes the importance of reducing waste and hopes to gauge public interest for a permanent compost program. The initiative aligns with UGA's efforts to find sustainable waste solutions, addressing the environmental impacts of traditional landfill disposal. The success of this pilot could pave the way for future composting initiatives and a greener future for athens Clark County. This from the Red and Black. In sports from the red and black in basketball, the Georgia men outlast Xavier in the first round of the NIT, 78-76. to And in baseball, it was Georgia over Wofford, 18-6. to And finally, in an emotional interview that aired last week, Jason Riley, the father of Lake and Riley, expressed frustration over the politicization of his daughter's death. Lake and Riley was tragically killed while jogging on the University of Georgia's campus, and her death became a focal point in the debate over border security due to the immigration status of the suspect, Jose Ibarra. Both President Biden and former President Trump referenced Lake and Riley's death in political context. Jason Riley criticized this, expressing his desire for his daughter to be remembered for who she was as a person and not as a political symbol. This from USA Today. Thanks for listening to the Athens News Podcast. Make sure you subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. This podcast is a production of BG Ad Group. All rights reserved. This podcast aggregate content from other sources for informational purposes and is in no way trying to infringe on the copyrights or businesses of any other entities. All content posted up on the site is used under the Fair Use Copyright Law 107. All audio, media, and articles are copyrighted to the original owners. All audio on this podcast are embedded from YouTube.com and are owned by their respective copyright owners. No audio information are copyrighted or stored on our servers. The court ruled that linking or embedding copyrighted videos is not copyright infringement, even if the source video was uploaded without permission. However, we will gladly remove any audio clip upon valid request from respective copyright owners. Any owners also have the option to disable embedding his YouTube videos on other websites. News and press articles are owned by the respective copyright owners. Where possible, the appropriate accreditation or source of the article is given on the same page. The audio video files on the site are for listening purposes only. Downloading of these files to one's computer is strictly prohibited. They are owned by the respective copyright owners. If it is in the organization's belief that the usage or specific content used on our site containing copyrighted knowledge conflicts without authorized use and or does not comply with fair use as described in the context, contact us through our contact page and we will remove the offending content immediately. Thanks for listening to the Athens News Podcast.